good morning, good morning. Yeah, we're finally leaving Stein behind me there, son. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, we uh, just finished fueling her up, and here we go. Now we're going to be heading out of town. Yes, indeed. Speed limit reduced to half. We uh, had a little bit of an issue this morning. Otherwise, we would have left a little earlier, but uh, hey, that's the way it goes sometimes. Wasn't any of my fault. It was just a fluke, I guess. The speed limit reduced to half. Uh, what happened was, uh, when I got there, he told me he couldn't find the paperwork. So, I guess they uh, had to go find the paperwork and then uh, while, I was, while he was doing that, I went hooked up to the trailer and we discovered that the back door, on one of the back doors there, the weather stripping around the door there was uh, damaged. So we went and got that fixed. Meanwhile, dispatch had discovered that uh, the driver who brought in the load had grabbed the wrong bills of lading. Yeah, he had accidentally grabbed the wrong trailer numbers paperwork, so... So yeah, so they had to send a guy down from the area, because that factory is shut down right now, but there is a guy that they were able to get a hold of. And he went down there and uh, faxed the paperwork down, so all of that took some time. I had to wait for all of that, so me and uh, Diego and the wife went and had some breakfast. Mm. Oh, yeah, so we had good breakfast, breakfast, right? Oh, yeah. That's what I thought it was, and here we are. Real humid and hot today. It's only supposed to get worse. Yeah, it's supposed to get worse, that's right. At least that's a mob sack. Yeah. So, we're going to get out of town and make our way towards Georgia. Yeah, we're going to Stockbridge, Georgia. I've been there before. I know this load. I know what's going there. I know what's going to happen over there. I know exactly what's happening there. So, now we just got to get through this construction that they got up here and everybody knows that that right lane is closed but they just want to cut in front of everybody so they just continue driving down the line and then they try and sneak in there over there in the front so oh well look at this guy yeah everybody just trying to cut in front of everybody over here but that's the way it goes so there we go, now we got the light changing up there, so... So you got three vehicles there in the right lane now. They're all gonna try and cut in front of us. <laughs> this one guy's eating a sandwich. Oh yeah. Well, well, we're not hungry anymore, so we already ate our, our good breakfast, so we don't have to worry about that. Yeah, for those of you that are new to our channel, this is my son Diego. Yeah, if you have never seen him, that's right, he's going to come along on a trip with me. We'll see exactly how long, how long our trip is going to be this time, but right now, even if we just go there and come back, that's at least a five-day trip. No, six. No, it'll be about a five-day. It takes a two and a half days to get down there and two and a half days back. I mean, it'll probably be a, a turn out to be a six day because uh, by the time you get unloaded and reloaded and all that good stuff, it takes a good while, right? So, so yeah, it might turn into a six day trip, but hey, that's all right. Anyways, uh, we're going to get out of here and we will have ourselves a fantastic day. Appreciate you guys joining us today. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day too. So that's coming right along with me on the complete day today. Welcome to the United States, ladies and gentlemen. We are in Minnesota. <laughs> Is that exciting or what? <laughs> yeah, right, eh? 
no way is it excited. You got nothing really to see other than what you've seen before. I've shown this part so many times out here. <laughs> Some of you probably know every tree on it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I did show this part many times before, but yeah. We are in Minnesota on Highway 310. Uh, 310, that's the highway we are on. It's only about 10 miles to Rosawa, Minnesota. That's correct. And I think today I'm going to take me a little different route than what I have usually been taking. I usually right there in Roseau, I take a left, go down on Highway 11, go that way. And I think today I'm going to be taking me a little different route. They had a bunch of construction over there on that uh, Highway 11 the other day when I come through there. So this time I think I'm going to go take 89 South and uh, go that way. I think that would be uh, make a lot more sense for me and since the GPS has shown me that several times to take it that way I may as well just go ahead and do it that way right but uh, as of right now it tells me to make a right on highway 11 and wants me to go down to I-29 and go down that way but that would be a long way around for me so we're not going to be doing that right no, I don't think so either. But it's a gorgeous day out there today. It's hot like crazy, but hey, we got AC in here. We're comfortable, right? Oh, yeah. That's what I figured. That's all that matters anyways, right? <laughs> we got so. Everything is working good on the truck. Order was good. No issues there. He didn't even go and check the seal number like they usually do at this border. So that was good. Everything was fine. We're happy campers when we're back on the U.S. side. Then we don't have anything to worry about for a good while. We got at least two and a half days worth of driving to do before we can deliver. Or before we will get there anyways, right? Yeah. Because it's a long way like 2500 kilometers so that's at least about two and three quarter days driving well you could really do it in two and a half if you really pushed her hard but we're not going to be pushing it that hard are we no no i don't think so either yeah no i think we'll be uh cruising right along here and we'll see where we will end up for tonight maybe we'll end up in duluth you never know might get to see Scott and Lisa. Really? We might. We could always give them a call and see what they're up to. Nice. Yeah. I think it is a few hours from here to there anyways, so we'll see. Maybe we'll get past there, maybe not. We'll have to wait and see. I know it's a few hours, that's for sure, but anyways, we'll uh, continue cruising along here. And, uh, We'll show you what we can as we always do it's going to be a little different area today than uh, we generally do so might be some new sceneries we might just be able to show you something new for a change maybe <laughs> maybe maybe right yeah because especially at this time of year there's corn everywhere yeah there is a lot of cornfields a lot of farmers out there that's for sure got a little bit of a river right here yeah. Nobody fishing in there today? Doesn't look like it. No, I guess not. They're probably too hot for them. Yeah. Probably get crazy sunburn today when you're on the water. <laughs> yeah. Probably want to use something today for protection. What is that? That doesn't look like corn. That looks like soya beans, eh? Yeah. That's what I thought. Here we go, guys. I told you we were going to show you something different today. You might be able to see it up there to the left. Yes, indeed. It is water. Yeah, there's a big lake up there to the left. Sure hoping that the camera is able to pick it up, but uh, yeah. We're driving along the lake here for a little bit. Oh, there's even a little bit of water there to the right, eh? Yeah. 
little bit of a wind coming across the today, but hey, that's all right. Something different that we haven't done in a long time. Taking a different highway. So far, I'm happy with my decision that I've taken this highway. So far, this highway has been good. I don't remember if I ever taken this highway. I've heard of other guys taking it, but I don't really remember taking this highway before. So, so yeah, something a little different. Looks like they got some docks over here and stuff like that. Oh wow, look at that. There's a little bit of a waterfall. Wow, that's cool. Some goose or whatever. Yeah. Looks like we're getting closer to the water too, eh? That's what it looks like anyways. But it looks like that it's a little low up here as well. The water could easily get up here if the water was to get high. But yeah, something a little different, right? Here we are, very close to the water. Now the camera should definitely be picking that up. That's what I thought. It looked like on a map somewhere we were going to go right by the lake here. Yeah, you can easily stop here and go right to the beach. They got it driving over there, it looks like. Yeah. Just like we did a couple of weeks ago. We stopped there right on, si on the side of the lake there. And went uh, to the beach as you guys remember seeing that video yeah that was a lot of fun recording that i i had me a good time that was for sure yeah it's starting to get cool off now a little bit it was pretty all hot over here earlier got up to like 30 degrees earlier but i guess it's because we're getting closer to the lake i guess that's why it's cooling off but uh yeah it was like 30 degrees Celsius earlier. Now it's only 27. Well, that's still pretty hot for us up here in Canada. Although we're not in Canada anymore. But, uh, yeah. Up here in the northern part, that's pretty hot for us. Anyways, beautiful uh, drive down this narrow road. And just seeing at that beautiful bush. And beautiful country out here, you know. Well, guys. We have been cruising for a good while. He made us a little pit stop there earlier, but uh, hey, we're coming into the uh, area of Duluth, Minnesota, except this is a little bit on the outskirt of Duluth, but uh, hey, I know I've shown this before, but hey, I like to show it again every once in a while. Beautiful scenery in my opinion. And today it looks like it's not foggy, so, uh, we might be able to show a little bit of the loot coming into the loot there. It's absolutely gorgeous there coming into the loot there and you can see the big lake there. Absolutely beautiful, eh? You seen that airplane before, eh? Oh yeah. Yeah? And that's what I thought. A couple of times before actually. Yeah? yeah? I know we've been going through here a few times since you've been coming with me, but anyways, so we'll, uh make our stop here for the traffic light and then uh, we'll probably show you guys on the other side there when we start going downhill there to go into Duluth. Here we are coming downhill, yes indeed. In 0 .2 we are miles coming up to the uh, I-35 South. Yeah, there you go, I-35 South. That's where we're going to be going to. I know we got to use the engine brake quite a bit up here to uh, Slow our truck down because it is a fairly steep uh, hill up here, so uh, you don't want to tip her over or like go down too fast at this hill up here. But there you go, towards the right, you can probably see the loose up there in the distance. Hopefully, the camera is showing it. It's actually no fog at all out there today, so it's beautiful. You can see the lake down there. I don't know with the GoPro if you're gonna be able to see it, but I should be able to. I would kind of think you should be able to see it. But yeah, here we are going downhill and towards Duluth, Minnesota. I tried to call Mr. Scotty earlier, he wouldn't answer. Still hasn't called me back either. I don't know. Mr. Scott is out and about today, I suppose. He's a busy man. 
got all kinds of lawn uh, cutting jobs and other stuff too so I know he's always busy 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 but yeah I think we're just gonna go right through the loose and uh, we'll continue on a little bit further yet we'll probably go a little bit uh, probably about 45 minutes past the loose here and then uh, we'll be done for today so that'll probably bring us closer to 8 o'clock maybe quarter to 8 and we'll be done for today maybe 8 o'clock but anyway somewhere in that neighborhood but yeah wow I'm impressed this engine brake since I've got this rebuilt I haven't had to stop on the brake one time and this is a 45 mile an hour speed limit going downhill here for trucks that's holding it right there at 47 that's perfect exactly what I like to see and we got like 43,000 pounds in the box so that's pretty heavy anyways we'll uh, continue on cruising along here and we'll talk with you guys in a few hey guys here we are walking around on the truck stop up here right mm -hmm. so how was the first day of driving with dad really good really good yeah look at that guys we're just here at the truck stop Going for a little spin. The sun over there is starting to go down. Yeah, I think it's right behind the bush over there, but hey, we brought our power stick out today so we can uh, hold it here nice and easy so we don't need to hold our hand like that and <laughs> hold our camera like that, eh? So we can uh, easily hold it out like this real nice and you can see both of us, right? Mm. I think so anyways. These cameras have a pretty wide angle uh, uh, camera lens, I guess you could call it. And so uh, you can generally see both of us. But anyways, looks like we got a little bit of a gravel road or whatever down that away. We're just gonna go for a little walk here. Yeah, kids are pretty active usually, so I figure go and uh, go for a little walk and I could certainly use it too. <laughs> yeah right yeah it looks like that looks like just more of a gravel road eh mm -hmm. yeah we'll just go for a little little walk out here and get our legs working a little bit eh yeah so it was nice and sunny today pretty hot though right I don't know not in a truck right no <laughs> truck was actually really good but uh yeah look at that outside it was pretty warm yeah yeah outside it feels like pretty humid and yeah and all that good stuff but other than that it's good really good well yeah anyways we'll go for a little walk down here we'll show you a little bit go for a little walk along this gravel road or whatever you want to call it and then uh, we'll see you guys in a few. All right, guys, we are back from our little walk. I mean, we didn't go too far, but went for a little walk. It's better than nothing, right? Yeah, definitely is. But uh, hey, we are done for today. And these guys up here, they got a little bit of a uh, subway up, up here on this truck stop here. A little mobile truck stop up here. Hey, yes indeed well, we're calling our done for today I think we got like 1136 more miles to go and this is the town that we are in right now yeah so we're gonna close off the show here for today and then we'll go ahead and edit this one up so uh, you guys have something to watch right but before we go we got a special announcement by the yeah, little trucker Diego <laughs> yeah what do you got to say if you like the video leave a thumbs up maybe leave a comment and if you didn't like the video leave a thumbs down and if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe see you in the next video <laughs>